Good evening, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. I'm excited because today I get to tell y'all who won a little thingy that you go on, and uh, it chooses the winners for you. And it's a couple of you, I recognize your name, and uh, one of you, I don't. So we'll see who everybody is. Um, I'm just going to tell you one at a time because I want you to watch the video. It's not going to be real long, but also besides doing the winners today, I'm going to strain up my um, fire cider that I made. I remember I showed y'all making the jamu shot juice and the fire cider. So it's been made. I made it on the 16th of October and it takes four weeks. So it's ready now for me to strain it up and I just dripped it everywhere. It's ready now for me to strain it, and then we'll take a tablespoon a day as a preventative for uh, colds and flu and all of that. And then if you get sick, you take three tablespoons a day of it. And it don't taste too good, and it's vinegary, and it's hot, but I guess it's good for you. So anyhow, we're going to strain that up here in a minute, and I'm going to put it in this um, green tinted uh, mason jar that I bought when this color was out. Now they have the amber colored ones and the blue colored ones. But I love the green and you can't get it anymore. So I'll put it in there in just a minute. But the first winner that I'm going to announce is for the three peelers that I use on my channel all the time. And Pam Strayan is the one that won the peelers. So Pam, if you will, email me and my email will be in the information below and give me your mailing address and all, then um, I'll get it in the mail to you this next week. Congratulations. And the winner of the um, duster is Mariah's, M-I-R-I-A-H-S 36. So if you will email me and give me your name and address, I'll get this in the mail to you next week. And I know everybody's wanting to know who won the apron. Well, you know what? I'm going to wait a little bit, and I'll announce the apron. So let's get this um, fire cider. It was funny. When I was making it, I, I, I called it fire water. And I, I corrected myself, but I had a few people that teased me about it. It's fire cider. So let me get that, and if, I'm going to put a link to the video below where I made it. So if you didn't see that video, you can go back and watch it. Now I could put it back in this same jar, but that quart is going to take up a lot less room in my refrigerator. So, see all the stuff that's in it? It's got turmeric, ginger, um, garlic. Lots of jalapenos, apple cider vinegar. I think this one has the apple cider vinegar in it. So I'm going to let it drain real good. And I'm just using a fine mesh strainer or sieve, whatever you want to call it. But I want to let, I want to get all of it out that I can. In fact, I think I'm going to press of it a little bit. Let's see if I can push a little juice out quicker. Y'all planning a big Thanksgiving? I Generally, my son doesn't. <coughs> that pepper's hot. <coughs> Excuse me. Doesn't come home for Thanksgiving. So it'll be April and her family, and me and Troy probably is who will be here. But I've cooked just as big a dinner as if it was going to be a whole herd of people here. So... I told y'all I'm going to be in that collaboration with eight other channels, and we're calling it the YouTube Thanksgiving Dinner. So, you're going to get a lot of recipes that you can use for your Thanksgiving, and it's between the 10th and the 20th of this month. The recipes will be coming out, so you need to, uh, I'm going to get mine up in the next few days, but there will be a link underneath it where you can go to each channel and watch uh, what they've prepared. So watch for that. I'm going to, in fact, today I'm planning on doing my first one and trying to get it uploaded. So you can follow the link that I have underneath and go to each channel and see what they've cooked. Man, they some good stuff. I'm going to try to make some of it. 
Okay, I'm going to put this over something else to finish dripping. Let me get a little bowl. That way of something else. Y'all, I got these cute little, just a good little size Mel Mac, Mel Mean bowls. And they had different colors at Dollar Tree. And I've enjoyed having them. Something y'all can look for if you need it. Okay, I hope this don't spill everywhere with me pouring from this bowl. Let's see how much we end up with. Well, maybe a quart. Pretty close. Yeah, that half gallon jar was full, and we got a full quart. So that's wonderful. I really didn't think I was going to get that much. So here's my fire cider, ready to help us be good and healthy through the winter. Um, let me see if we can see who won that apron. Hang on just a minute. The winner of the apron is, and I'm assuming this is a man, Daryl Senyard. Daryl Sinyard, S-I-N-Y-A-R-D. Daryl, if you will email me and send me your mailing address, um, I'll mail you an apron. Now, for all y'all that liked that apron and you didn't win it, well, I have some more of that fabric and I have a whole bunch of other fabric if you want to order an apron. So, um... I make aprons year-round, so if you need a gift or something and you happen to think, hey, I could order that from Apron Strings, just email me. And if there's a fabric you liked, I'll see if I still have some. And if I didn't, I might can still get some somewhere. So uh, probably the end of next week, I will show the Christmas fabric for those of you that are wanting a Christmas apron. So that'll be coming up too. I hope you all have a wonderful uh, holiday season. I just love this time of the year. I like the fall because to me it's kind of like, whew, let's rest after the heat of the summer. And I like the leaves falling down. That's restful to me. Now it's not restful when I have to rake the yard. But I like to watch it fall. So, and then Thanksgiving is, I love Thanksgiving. I love the colors of fall. And then I just love the Christmas season because I love to give. And it's so much fun to get gifts for the family, and they get all excited and like to get them. So, my favorite time of the year, I say that. And then come spring, I'm so excited to plant the garden and get stuff growing. And I guess I, guess I like every season, maybe. But I do, I do enjoy this time of the year. I look forward to the first cool spell. Um, a friend of mine, Marco Polo, me last night said, we're getting our first snow. And I said, we never get snow, but it's going to be in the 40s tonight in Texas. So that's pretty good. But yeah, they were in Michigan. They, she was getting, they were supposed to get two in inches yesterday and two inches today. Lord have mercy, we would shut down the schools and the work and the everything if we got two inches of snow. Anyway, short and sweet kind of sort of on this video. But I'm going to get off of here so I can get it uploaded and y'all can see who won. And you know what? If you'll share the channel and help it to grow, 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 we'll do this again for too long. Now, the good Lord bless and keep y'all. Take care of yourself. Oh, and be buying a few extra things for your pantry. I'm getting calls every day of people going to the store and shelves being empty. And it's not a prepper thing. It's a condition that our country's in, and there's a shortage of uh, transport trucks and things like that. See, I told you, you never know what might come up that will cause a shortage. It could be a hurricane, it could be an earthquake, it could be fires, it could be, you know, this time we just don't have enough transport. And in a lot of the facilities, there's not enough work. I, I get Azure, um, deliveries and my delivery was delayed because they don't have enough help to pack all of the orders because their orders have doubled people are wisening up to what's going on and they're trying to get some stuff ahead and i'm just telling y'all i know i'm on my soapbox again but 
Yeah, it's justified. Y'all need to get a bit of extra stuff, or you know what? You're going to go to get your stuff, and you're not going to have any stuff, and your neighbor ain't going to share their stuff. Because you should get your stuff when you're warned. So I guess I've said enough about your stuff, but you better listen to me and get you some extra stuff in your pantry. Y'all take care. I'm going to try to put up several videos this week, so be watching. If you haven't hit that little bell to be notified, I wish you would do that. And I hope you subscribe if you haven't already. And um, hit that thumbs up if you like the videos. I appreciate that. I'll see y'all in a day or two. The good Lord bless and keep you. Try to make some sweet memories and get ready for your Thanksgiving dinner.